Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Mohsen Raj. I'm a DM cardiology student at Ames New Delhi. Now I know exams ka season aane wala hai, NEET, JE, NEET PG, or uh, I'm sorry, INICT. So sub students exam ki preparation mein lage honge. So what that means is that coffee would be used by most of you, right? Now even if you're not a student, most, most of us use coffee sometime during the day, right? So specifically, I made a video for students. The reason being, I want to tell you how much of coffee is too much. Second, what are the symptoms that you will feel if you take too much of coffee, if you consume lots of coffee? And third, that are there any long-term adverse effects on your health in the long run, maybe 10 years down the line, okay? And last, what should you do as a student? How much should you consume, okay? So number one, how much caffeine is too much of caffeine? Look, if you look at science, the literature says that 300 or 400 milligrams of caffeine is safe for an adult. I'm not talking about a child, I'm not talking about even an adolescent. So, 300 to 400 milligrams is okay for an adult. What that means, the standard coffee cups you take, that would be 3 to 4 brewed coffee cups, 3 to 4 cups a day. So, that makes it 300 to 400 milligrams of caffeine. Or if you consume those energy drinks, they're very rich in caffeine, that would be one to two drinks. Not more than two drinks will make it 400 milligrams of caffeine. Okay, so that's the quantity. That is like the upper limit. Just ke aage nahi jane, not beyond three to four cups of coffee, not beyond two energy drinks like those Red Bull or Sting and all, not beyond two. Okay, number one. Number second. So what are the possible symptoms that you may have if you consume too much of caffeine? Deco, yes, consuming caffeine makes you feel a little bit more energetic, a little bit more focused, oriented, sort of more concentrated. It might help you in your studies. I don't disagree in that. But overconsumption may lead to adverse events, adverse effects, right? So you will be insomnic. Up comes okay. Next day, mein aapka attention kam rahega and you'll consume more coffee. It somehow becomes a vicious cycle. You take more coffee, you sleep less, then you are sleep deprived, you feel lack of energy, you feel lack of, uh, that, that you feel that uh, lack of focus the next day, you'll consume more coffee. So, a vicious cycle ban jata hai, in which you have a tendency to get trapped under the cycle of consuming more coffee. Okay, so insomnia. Second, anxiety, nervousness, tremors. And last not, but not the least, fast heart rates. Many of the students can uh, complain that they, they feel palpitations. This might be one of the reasons they're consuming too much of coffee. Okay, now I want to tell you one more thing that some people are more sensitive. I've been able to 300, 400 milligrams, three to four cups of coffee is okay, but somebody may be oversensitive to the effects of caffeine. Somebody may get these symptoms, jitteriness, anxiety, nervousness, tremors, palpitations, those uh, skip beats and all, you might get it by just consuming a little bit of coffee because you're too sensitive for it. And I, it's a stimulant, but you somehow are more, more sensitive to the effects of caffeine. So this 300 to 400 milligram of caffeine, three to, four mil, uh, three to four cups of coffee, it doesn't work for everyone. That is for an average adult, okay? Someone may be too sensitive, right? Now, the last part I want to discuss is, are there any long-term adverse effects? They were talking about that it's, even, uh, there were reports that, even WHO se bhi report tha that it's related to certain cancers, okay? Even they said it's related to diabetes. Some said it's related to adverse cardiac events, right? But what is now literature, hai, jo up-to-date evidence, hai, wo ye hai, that coffee se koi bhi long-term adverse effect nahi hota. It is not related to any cancer. It is not related to increased risk of diabetes or it's not related to any cardiovascular risk okay if you consume it in average amounts if you consume it in moderation in average amounts it won't lead to increased cardiac risk okay so what should you do if you're consuming too much of too much of coffee too much of caffeine obviously restrict your intake restrict your intake slowly apply intake come karo do not make yourself dependent on coffee you know you start your day with coffee you complete a subject you again drink one more cup of coffee to aise nahi karna hai. understand that this is helpful but in moderate amounts if you take too much of coffee it will have a negative impact on your preparation 
तुम्हारा तुम्हारी नींद डिस्टर्ब होगी तुम्हारे नेक्स्ट डे का अटेंशन डिस्टर्ब होगा यू विल हैव दीज सिम्टम्स ऑफ पैल्पिटेशन एंड एनजाइटी एंड नर्वसनेस यू विल डू पोअर इन योर एग्जाम ओके सो दैट्स द पर्पज ऑफ दिस वीडियो सो इट वॉज मोर ऑफ एन एजुकेशनल कॉन्टेंट फॉर यू गाइज थैंक यू